Welcome Thursday night, uh, MC Summit Live, uh, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, 6 Mountain, and 5 Pacific. Can you believe that? We just keep going and going and going. We've been doing this since, uh, has to, what is it, 2015, 2016, when Facebook launched Facebook Live, still in search of awesome. And uh, we found some awesome sauce for you tonight. Hannah Hill, Instagram Color Vish Jedi. Whitney Evans, uh, about a month or so ago, I had Whitney on and her husband, and we were doing this really cool conversation on uh, Vish. And I said uh, to Whitney, I want to know who the, uh, who the Jedi in your salon that's using Vish, a hairdresser, so we get a, a hairdresser perspective on it. And she uh, introduced me to Hannah Hill and the rest is history. Let me tell you why I invited her on tonight. You guys got to take a peek at this. Uh, 2019, you know, she's getting started, getting started at 42, and last year was, what is it, a 10, 11, 12 week, 7 week, whatever, shutdown. She increases her earning power by $20,000. You guys do the math on that. That's like a $400 a week increase in gross income. I mean, that that's called, you know, blowing it up. Age 22, I had a number that dropped out of my PowerPoint. Should be 162. Average ticket haircut at 50. Referrals running at 65%. So that what that tells me is for every 10 guests that she serves, six to seven of them are referrals that come to her from her the work she's doing on social. Uh, and I'm going to let her talk about that. Look at the, this rebook rate, 90%. So she's growing like crazy. And RTS. 38%, oh my God, that's like, you know, off the chart. So you can see that she's on her game. Now, she's going to talk about her story, so I don't want to take anything out of that, but her timeline is graduates from high school in uh, 16, hair school, 17. She goes right into hair school after high school, does six months of associates at uh, Whitney, um, Level one, uh, 17, at, like I said, in 2019, uh, 41, 62, and 2020. So she's uh, in the game big time. If you don't follow her, please do. She's got a great platform presence on uh, Instagram. Hannah does my hair. Uh, and you're going to see, I was just kind of crawling through her, her highlights, and she's got some really cool stuff on her page. So uh, I'll, I'll, we're going to see if I can get her to talk about that. Listen, she's in my uh, green room now. I'm going to go get her, like we always do, going to get her talking about the story a little bit. And then we're going to uh, get her to uh, give her some of us, uh, some of this uh, secret sauce. So I'll go back to get her. You're here. I'm here. We're here. Uh, she's right there. I'm going to unmute her. You're going to make her feel welcome. <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. Did you hear me uh, bragging on you? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I did. <laughs> Good to have you. Thanks for um, coming on tonight. I always appreciate when you, uh, when people like you give us your uh, time and energy and, and uh, wisdom. So thank you. Of course. Well, we always like to start with the story because the story gives us inspiration and vision and, and hope. And I know you have a story. I love your story. So who are you? And what made you decide to uh, take the ride in the beauty business? So probably from like age as old or as young as I can remember, I always wanted to do hair. It was a 100% thing. Um, so as soon as I graduated high school, I knew that I needed to go straight there, not waste any time. So I just went straight from high school to beauty school, um, went as much as I could, tried not to miss any days because I was like, I just want to start working. I want to get out there get my name out there so um about a month before graduating I got hired on to Whitney's and um front desk just kind of the the duties of that and then as soon as I graduated I quickly became an assistant with her and then in about six months in as I was assisting her I actually got to go out on my own and start gaining days and then I became a full-time stylist wow so so you knew it sounds like in high school, what was going to be the, you know, the on-ramp to getting a life, uh, 
being a hairdresser? Like, did, like when did you kind of, when was that stirring in your soul? Like, you know, middle school, elementary school? Oh, yeah. I mean, as long as I can remember, I 100% was like, I'm doing hair for sure. And it sounds like once you got to Whitney, you, it, like, you fell into your groove. It, it's like, okay, I, this is where I'm supposed to be. Oh, yes, for sure. No regrets. As soon as I got there, I knew that this was perfect. So what were the difference makers for you? I mean, usually, you know, people come in and they're on course and they have these things happen and all of a sudden they take this sharp pivot. It's like, you know, nitroglycerin on the bonfire. What was yours? I had amazing beauty instructors whenever I was in beauty school. Um, they pushed me in all the right directions, gave me all the opportunities I could possibly get. Um, just amazing overall, best experience there. Um, and then I mean, right as soon as that was over, my salon family, my owners, all the girls I got hired with and work with, I absolutely love every single one of them. Um, it's absolutely amazing. It's like the best atmosphere. So that makes a huge difference working with people who constantly build you up and make you feel like you can offer more and you can do better and you can do great things. It's like the best thing in the world. And of course we get to go to like hair shows and stuff like that. So getting to see all these great people um, just doing great things um, and showing us kind of how they got started. I kind of, I know every time I leave a hair show, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Like, what can I do next? That's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, so hair shows were huge. I know that we can't do those right now, but I'm so excited to be able to go back to those and start doing that again. Cause it, oh, it just makes you so excited. And then um, I just knew I wanted to do, I wanted to be different. I wanted to do something different. Um, try to change what other people do. Cause I mean, there's so many hairdressers in the world and they're all so amazing. So I needed to kind of find like my niche and what I could do that would change. I love it. And Whitney's on, I see her on my dashboard. She's saying, you got a rock star on your hands. She says, I love you, Hannah. <laughs> um, love you, Whit. And, and so, you know what? The right culture makes a big difference, doesn't it? All of a sudden you find Absolutely. yourself surrounded by encouragers. So anytime oh you have gosh, a loss yeah. of your own courage, there's two or more people around you to they loan you their courage and then you get to watch them when they're in their game. It shows you what's possible. Oh yeah. So it I don't want to say it would be impossible to fail in a culture like you know Whitney, uh but you're It you're, truly is. Yeah, you 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 did you, that was a great if there was an academy award for, you know, best choice. And Salon, you you certainly would be a, a, <laughs> yes. a, a, a candidate for it. So um, what's it like now? Because you've been on a path like you. You grew by four hundred dollars a week in gross income in twenty nineteen covid. And we were you know, you got to scratch off. How many weeks were you guys shut down in covid? We were, I think we were shut down for a total of seven. Yeah. So, you know, set, in spite of seven weeks, your income went up $400 a week. Like, what's that like? I mean, you, know, you, you try to explain it to people. It kind of like blows the sides off of their brain box. Yes. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't be possible without all of my amazing clients. Um, even during the shutdown, they were offering to pay for services ahead of time. Um, they're just loyal and absolutely amazing. So I, that really made a huge difference with everything and it helps me now. Um, I can always count on them. They're absolutely amazing. Um, I've made so many friends and especially connections in the industry. Um, that's a big thing, knowing who you want to work with and all of these things and having those connections with photographers and other hairstylists and makeup artists is just awesome. That's another atmosphere thing being constantly built up by all these people, it just makes you want to do more and just be better at everything. So that way you just have confidence with them. They're a huge thing. And then obviously my team still, um, they constantly push me. If I have a post or something that I'm like, ah, that's kind of, I don't know if this is good. Should I post it? I don't want people to be like, what the heck is that? They are constantly like, do it. Like you, you should do it. It's amazing. Like they just are great at building you up. And yeah. especially advice, giving me advice. Um, there's some girls that have been doing it a lot longer than me, and they've excelled in the industry. Yeah. So they are always constantly offering me amazing advice. Like, I well, don't know if I would be able to do it without very, them. You're very humble in, in, in giving people credit for, you know, growing you. And I'm just compelled to ask you this question, that, you know, when, when, when you see that kind of, that, 
change? That's transformational. Did it change your standard of living? Did it change your lifestyle? You know, when, oh my gosh. You know, money, money is energy and, and, it, and it's mm -hmm. energy that helped, you know, make our life uh, more, better, faster. And you got a lot of energy come your way. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm looking, is this a, you're at home this evening? It looks like you're yes. in your, your room. Do you, did you, did it get you out of your family of origin or were you out of the family? I was, yes. Um, I was able to purchase a house on my own um, by the age of 21 um, fully by myself. I got to purchase a new car um, just the the standard of living has changed a lot. Like you don't live paycheck to paycheck when you're making that like you save. It's just it benefits you in so many wow, ways and it also wow. makes you want to work harder. Well, what, I mean, that, <laughs> that's a great what a great vision of what's possible because you're on the front end of 20 something. So, you know, yeah. and inside of about two years, you, you, you've got it kind of like catapulted or like you got slingshotted well into getting a life at a, a very early age. So, uh, you know, what's next for you? Where do you where do you go from here? <laughs> well, I know I definitely want to continue education as much as possible. Um, always bring the new know the new things, um, try new things. I definitely want to start continuing my education and continue to do that. Um, I always want to be in the know. Um, hopefully soon I can get an associate. So that'll help me kind of double up and be able to have some help. And I really am excited about teaching someone else things, um, showing them kind of how it works and seeing them excel. That's like what I'm super excited about is having a person of my own to like teach and show. And then um, hopefully Vish just continues to pave the way for me. Um, it's changed a lot as well. I do plan on trying to at least by 25 hitting six figures. I think that would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully yeah, that'll be the cards. I, I would bet that this year, 2021, you don't um, hit it, you'll be trending it. So we'll <laughs> see. You know, the other thing I'm just guided to say is, um, you're, you're now, you, you know, you went from here to like there. Um, you, one of the things you did, you know, I don't, if you said, who do you know that got started in terms of building wealth? I'm, I'm having engaging people now in this conversation called, you know, how to be, you know, a behind the chair millionaire. Like you could, you could be a millionaire probably in your late twenties, early thirties. So that's another conversation that I'll engage you in. <laughs> later but uh that you know that would be like like super duper icing on the cake oh, yes. what do your parents make of all of this stuff oh my gosh my mom is so supportive and she is in awe um that i can make that much and work as hard as i do they're all great my sister everyone they're just absolutely amazing when it comes to supporting me and seeing what i can do i think it excites them more i want to say it excites them more than me to see what I make and see what is possible for me. All right. So I want to get you talking about your secret sauce. And I, you know, I know that you're a, an Instagram Jedi, you're a Vish Jedi. I'm looking at your color. It's stunning. Like, you know, <laughs> Thank I, you. who did, who does your color in the salon? I mean, honestly, with all of us, I think it's whoever has time, whoever's available. We're all trusting in each other. So we just, throw it on as soon yeah. as we can we're all so busy but it, it's it's just absolutely uh uh stunning so uh Thank wonderful you. talk to us about vish because vish is new and if there and again if there was an award for salons that are using it like to the max and the service providers that it's 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 helping um whitney evans would certainly get a hands down uh, a word for that. So what is VISH and how is it helping you? So VISH is a system that measures our color to the exact measurement. Um, you never really know how much you're wasting. Um, when you're doing hair, you're throwing it on, throwing it in the sink whenever you're finished. There's product in the bowl. You never really understand that that's money going down the drain. So VISH has helped us a lot in realizing what we use and the waste that we use. So it's definitely helped us lower our waste. Um, we spent way too much than we should have been waste last year. So it's made a huge difference in that for us. And it also kind of helps just us be what we're worth. So when we use this much color on somebody, we're charging 
what we're worth to do that work. And it charges the extra so we can have better products and keep better products and go to hair shows and do all these things. It just kind of paves the way for the future. Right. So you just said something key that this, in, in, in addition to helps to control waste, it sounds like it, it, it empowered uh, you to uh, the, the, the salon company to kind of rethink, reimagine the pricing structure so that, you know, you, you, you use what you need, but if you're adding other things, that that's reflected in the charge. And as a result, you, you have an opportunity to earn more money because, as you put it, you're charging what you're worth. What's that like? Um, I mean, it makes a huge difference in your paycheck. I mean, so could, it's amazing. You could see the, you could see yeah, you can see a huge gap in the jump of your paycheck when you charge like that. Because you don't realize when you love your clients so much, you just don't really think about it. And you realize how much hair you're doing and how much work you're putting into it. You don't really realize that sometimes maybe what you're charging isn't what you're worth. So it does help kind of right. make that realistic. How, how how did how did your the clients embrace that that pivot, and how did you present it to the client in a way that they could understand it, um, appreciate it, and uh, get behind it? Oh, they were super awesome and understanding. Um, when we first started doing it, obviously, anytime you have a price increase, you get a little nervous. Um, but I really just kind of told them that this new system really helps us better you and um, provide more for you in the long run. We can use this so that way we can get more products. And just so that way we kind of understand what we're using and it'll kind of benefit everybody in the long run. And once you tell them that, I mean, they're 100% okay with it. They completely understand. So now I'm kind of getting an idea. I'm kind of, you've helped me connect the dots that one of the uh, stimuluses that got you uh, a uh, $20,000 increase in your income was th this digital tool, color tool called Vish. Now there were some other things, of course, but that sounds like that that reflected, that kind of le empowered you to level up your pricing so that you you could, in, you know, first of all, get over the fear of, and uh, as you call it, charge what you're worth. Exactly, yes, 100%. Wow, 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 wow. So there's a lot, um, and for, for people, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, hairdressers that uh, stuff like that kind of scares them. You're on the other side of it now, and, you know, you're, you're seeing some things that you didn't see before, and there's people watching tonight that are looking at you, listening to you, identifying with you, but they're not where you were. You, like, took that leap. And they're back there going, okay, I'm, you know, I'm kind of like at the edge of the holy jumping off place here. Do, do I take the leap? And if I, if, if, if I do, am I going to fall down, go boom? Or am I going to be okay? What might you say to them that would inspire them to trust the process and take the leap like you did so that you could start charging what you're worth? I would say the key is just to take the plunge. Post the posts that you don't think are going to do well. Um, because we're the harshest on ourselves. Um, do stuff out of the box, take videos, do things that you just normally wouldn't do because you're uncomfortable doing them. Um, be different. That's the best thing. Um, I've gotten so many new amazing clients just for the sole fact that I do videos and I introduce myself and I, sit, I take pictures and I do all these things and I'm constantly posting. Um, that's a huge thing. And then another huge thing is when they are physically in your chair, having that one-on-one -on -one consultation, telling them what you feel about it, like how you can achieve the look that they're wanting, what if they want something crazy, kind of like explaining why maybe that may not be achievable. Just being honestly just upfront and honest, you end up making great friends. I mean, I have so many new friends just from them being like, you know, I, I love your personality. I love that you can be honest with me. I trust you with my life. Women in their hair. I mean, if, if they trust you, they trust you with anything. Yeah. So just having that trust behind the chair, honestly. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm as you were talking about your um, your social media. I was I actually went to your page and kind of was giving the my community a a, a, a field trip. You know, yeah. On your page, and it's extraordinary. I mean, it's off the charts. I mean, all the first of all, all the looks that you're branding are high-end looks, 
And um, it, it's a, uh, it, as I go through it, like I saw you have one dedicated to extensions. So I'm assuming mm -hmm. that's part of your service menu as well. <laughs> yes, and yeah. it's brought it up a lot. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Uh, and now, um, when you're in real time with your clients, I know you, you said consultation is a big difference maker for you. How often would you either on your mobile be on your page referring to a look that you've done where your, your, your Instagram page and your mobile is like a, a real-time digital lookbook and or your client has their mobile out and they're on their page showing you something that they saw and they wanted to talk about, gee, I, you know, I love this, and wh where all of a sudden now your page is the topic of the consultation. I think 90% of my consultations have been someone sitting in my chair and saying, I looked up this hashtag and you were the first person I saw. So I went through your Instagram and I loved your work. And then they show me a picture that I've done and they're like, is this possible? It's hashtags, tags, anything like that. Um, that's how people find you nowadays. And anytime someone is in the area and they're looking for someone that they can trust to do their hair, they're going to look that up and they're going to click on it. And if you're constantly doing it, you're going to be one of the first people on that page. So that's well, kind of. Yeah. And so you're awesome. saying that, yeah, it's almost like uh, hashtags on Instagram have become the new Google. <laughs> it right? really has. Right. They'll hashtag something and, you, and all of a sudden. And when I was uh, when I had Whitney on, you guys are you, you really have a great presence on Google. And I think you're like on page one. Uh, Google yeah. page one in your area. So I have to believe that all of these little things really put together and have started like it's almost like a tidal wave of referrals that come your way. Yes. Internet right now is at the highest it's ever been. Um, that's the way to get your name out there, honestly, is to get good reviews, um, post a lot, just anything that is going to get your name out there on the Internet is how we do our work now business yeah. cards are now the internet <laughs> yeah i mean i thank you for beating me to the punch because I, <laughs> what, as i look at you listen to you it's whatever those those traditional ways are you know card handing outing and you know or when you're out in there you're handing out cards it's like that that's now it it, it served its time it's 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 historical and the real leverage the power the branding the uh the state of the art now is for Jedi's on the internet, Instagram, Google. You got a great website presence as well. So I can only imagine that all those things are really kind of fueling your fire. Oh yes, 100%. The website helps a ton. It's great. It gives people a chance to look at what you do, look at who you are, all kinds of things like that. Um, one last question. Uh, and when, when your clients come back, you're, because you're doing the overwhelming majority of the work you're doing is color. <clears throat> I think that's why your average ticket is like three times, four times higher. Uh, is Vish serving you where there's less guesswork on, on, uh, on uh, mixing, you know, uh, you know, a, a second, third generation color because you, you now, the, the, the formulas are measured. So yeah, when you log on to Vish, um, you type in your client's name and you can pull up everything that you've ever done on them, start to finish, anything that you've ever done. If they're like, come in, sit in your chair, and they're like, I want the same thing as last time. I don't have to guess. I don't have to wonder, oh, what did I do? Like, I see so many people a day, I can't remember. I just type in their name and it gives me the exact formula, how much I weighed, how much I used last time. Um, and I can literally click it and just duplicate everything. Wow. So it helps a ton. And it sounds like that that's also wired into your, your point of sale, your uh, uh, software. What, mm -hmm. what, yeah, what, it's uh, amazing. What, what uh, software system do you use? We use um, Vigero. Oh, okay. So it, it has Vigero kind of, uh, kind of created code for you to plug Vish into, uh, into their software? So they're working on getting it to where you can completely do it. So how we have it set up is we've got our computer up front and it has the Vish charges right oh, beside our bookings. Got so it, we got can it. kind there's of see. Like a, there's like a, a, a middle point, another a kind of a bridge mm -hmm. that plugs Vish into, uh, into mm -hmm. your, uh, your software. 
Good. Yes. Well, listen, this has been a great conversation. We're out of time, but uh, promise me you'll come back for an encore because I think you're going to do what you did in 2020. I think you're going to do every bit of that and more in 2021. You're just, you're on fire. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Thank you. I hope so. All right. Say hi to Whitney for me and um, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk soon. I'll, I'll have you back on the back end of uh, this year and tell us how much more you're blowing up your uh, business. I can't wait. Perfect. Right. Let's, we're going to give it up for you one more time. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Have a good evening. Thank you. You too. Okay. I love that conversation, you guys. I mean, I really did because um, it was just interesting. It's actually the first time I've had the opportunity to uh, talk to somebody, uh, a, a, a hairdresser about a vision, how they're being served, because I wanted to get it right from kind of their, the source's mouth, if you will. What I heard her say is that this changes the, the, the pricing so that when you, as you, as you're using it today with the, you know, all of the state of the art color and, you know, on Hannah's page, she's got a, a highlight that I believe, yeah, it says a bit, uh, one of her highlights is, um, is vivid. Uh, where she's got a, um, a, uh, a a highlight. I'm going to it now. That's why I'm, ooh, uh, 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 yeah, her last one is uh, with Pulp Riot. And, you know, you start doing that, you got toners happening, and she, she, that once you get beyond that base, you have an opportunity to charge what you're worth. So I, I saw a corollary or a connection between her $20,000 increase in gross take home in one year, that's like a $400 a week raise in personal income. I saw a connection between that and Vish and tied into pricing. I didn't have that before tonight, so I am so glad that uh, we had her on. So uh, to talk about that, because uh, it, it's a very, very, very big deal. And I think Vish is just getting warmed up. So we're going to give it up for Anna Hall one more time. Uh, you're watching. Uh, Notice wherever I'm at on the internet, um, same handle, Michael Cole Summit, with the exception of TikTok. Um, I've been on TikTok now by, for about uh, six months, and uh, I'm, I've got another brand that I'm using TikTok to uh, strengthen as Michael Cole Next. But all of the work I do is really helping people in the salons to uh, understand how to use the internet, uh, specifically the social media platforms. And if you're a salon owner, you know, Google, uh, website, SEO, to really blow up the business. So hang out uh, with me on all those platforms. All of this stuff is brought to you, compliments, by L'Oreal. So I'm powered by L'Oreal Salon Emotion. So thank you, L'Oreal. And all of the interviews I've done, I think I'm just this side of 300 interviews, <clears throat> are always, I call them, uh, 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 cured, curated down into a three-minute, four-minute, five-minute, call them micro-learnings. So you don't have to watch, you know, a 20-minute conversation. You, you get the cut to the chase or experience it as a podcast. If you do, you know, if you're in a position, you're in your car and you just, you don't want to be watching something, but you'd like to get some inspiration. And I put it on my uh, IGTV channel on uh, Michael Cole Summit Instagram, so bear that in mind. Um, this is big. Uh, uh, SummitSalon.com uh, has another .com called SummitSalon365.com. And it's where uh, we put all of our, I call it production value videos, more of our online uh, courses, video courses. I have a ton of content on that dot com. I've got something called the, uh, the, the, the social digital Jedi. It's, it's like seven 30-minute uh, tutorials on stuff that I've learned from the Hannah Halls in the world and how to use uh, not just the Internet but Instagram, just, uh, social media, to blow up your income. So take me up on that, uh, if you will. Um, there's a, it's a subscription site, so there's a nominal subscription fee, but you can watch the content th uh, 365 days a year if, that, if that's your wish. 
uh, all, all of our, we have a lot of content in our uh, resource library. A lot of people use our uh, planners and journals to uh, measure what they treasure. I was just on a board meeting at Summit uh, yesterday, and I think 65, 70% of the salons that we're serving now, we're serving them online. So online coaching has become our model now. If you're new to us, uh, call us on our 800 number, uh, and we will uh, be more than happy to sit down and, and do a virtual consultation. Uh, compliments us to show you what, how we're kind of growing the salon and people in the salon uh, through coaching, but the coaching now is virtual. So uh, take us up on that invite as well. Because we're sponsored by L'Oreal, <clears throat> we're able to put digital tools on our website. So we have a, um, uh, a, 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 a domain in our website called Calcs, Digital Calcs for calculators, uh, where you can uh, key in something to uh, set your goals, uh, daily goals, uh, average tickets, shows you when to, you qualify for a level jump. And again, that's all compliments because we're powered by L'Oreal as well as we've got some uh, a digital tracker that's tied into our level charts that shows you uh, when you know you're in a position where you can uh, as, as I just love what Hannah said uh, charge what you're worth. Um, last but not least is uh, a little nonprofit shameless plug that I do is that every time I do a a a, a, a Facebook live or or an Instagram live um, I have this thing called tattoos mctattoos.com. It's a nonprofit, and uh, if you see something that I wear that you like, go in there and just kind of br browse uh, that site because we've got some real cool icons on there. 100% of the proceeds go to uh, uh, two, two foundations that kind of touch my soul. One is Believe and Read. It's a literacy uh, course for preschoolers, uh, you know, uh, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, first, second, all the way up to third grade where we, there's a special digital course that we have for, for children to uh, teach them how to learn to read so that when they get into the fourth grade and beyond, they can read to learn. I'm going to give you that one again. There's a difference between learning to read and reading to learn. So after fourth grade, you're, it's assumed you've, you've, you've learned to read. Now you've got to spend the rest of your life reading to learn. And if you, if you, don't, if you haven't learned to read good enough, that's a struggle. I was one of those... Uh, Examples. I was diagnosed with dyslexia, dyslexia and it, uh, it was a heck of a thing. So that's why it touches my soul. The other is there's a lot of uh, my uh, friends that are in uh, the recovery community, recovering from setbacks with uh, drugs, alcohol, what, what have you. And there's a, uh, a center called 12 Retreat, the retreat. And so everything that you, uh, that, uh, you all proceeds there go to, uh, that's kind of what I, how I show up with my time and talent and treasure. So Please, uh, please uh, take me up on the invite. Last but not least, thank you, L'Oreal Professional, for um, empowering us to bring this to you, compliments of them. So if you like the experiences that you're getting on any of our content online, um, support their brands. You know, you're looking at Redkin, you're looking at uh, Matrix, Purology, L'Oreal Professional, Kerastas, Paul Pride, Essie, Mazzani, Biolage, Matrix, they're all there. Anytime you are using that and, and talking about that to your clients, you're supporting the people that uh, power us, and it all works. So it's one of those for the good of all and the harm of none. So great show tonight, my friends. I'm going to let you get on with uh, um, your evening, and um, uh, stay tuned. I just did a, uh, a brand-new first-time, uh, I call it Behind the Chair Millionaire, Best Practices of Millionaire Stylist. I actually did that interview this morning, uh, actually this afternoon. So that's on, that's on the page that you're on now. You've got to watch that. That's off the chart. We're going to be bringing you several hairdressers that have worked behind a chair and have learned from our training how to manage the money that they're making so that over time they have a net worth, what we call a seven-figure net worth. They are, in fact, millionaires. So... Not only is it possible to achieve, become a millionaire by working behind the chair, it's probable. And it's where I'm going to be going in 2021 and beyond. So I've got a few more years uh, left in me 
and I'm, you know, one of the inspirations, I want to see how many, uh, what kind of uh, millionaire community we can build. So uh, stay close to us on that because that's, uh, that's the big deal. So uh, it's good to have you here. It says thank you, Michael. Best of best teachers. We're blessed. Thank you very much, uh, Joanna. And uh, we'll see you next.